Good morning. I've got a stack of audiobooks here that have just arrived, and I'm going to have a look. There's the first one. It's The Boat of a Million Years by Poole Anderson. 16 CDs and runs approximately 20 hours. That should be a good one. I think it's uh, from 89. Yeah, so it's um, a later book in his career. Second one up, another Poole Anderson, read again by Tom Weiner. This one, I think, has a much better cover. Massive moon, looks like Earth's moon. Hopefully this is set on Earth. And a couple of people up on the cliff there. It's called Genesis. Six CDs, oh, great length. And seven hours. Published 2000. Let's have a look inside it. I don't know if you guys have ever seen inside an audiobook of this kind. This is the kind they get at libraries. It's all library binding. Next up, got a Richard Matheson. Shadow on the Sun. I think this is just a stunning cover. Uh, it, I believe, was originally classified as a Western, but it's got some um, horrific or supernatural elements in it. So that I'm kind of looking forward to this one. It's read by Mark Bramhall, who I've not heard, I don't think. Five and a half hours, five CDs. Great length. First published in 94. The cover's by James T. Egan. Hmm, I'm going to look out for him. And what else we got? We got another Richard Matheson. It's called Other Kingdoms. Now, this one, um, I believe, is set during World War I. Um, it's read by Bronson Pinchot, who is a terrific narrator. Seven CDs, eight and a half hours. And this is a brand new book, just came out 2011 is the publication date. All of these are new audiobooks, but the uh, publication dates of the original publication tells us when it came out as a paper book as well. Yeah, that's great. Now this is perhaps, the, uh, I think it's the only one I've read of this stack, um, but it's a good book. It's uh, read by Tom Weiner again. It's Farnham's Freehold. And um, I think I mentioned this cover on uh, the website earlier. I think it's actually pretty good, even though it is sort of stock. Uh, there's a savanna. There's a guy with a, I think that's called a Sam Brown kind of belt there. Um, and this is a time travel story. So we got the, the uh, clock, or watch, pocket watch there. Kind of a middle middle of the road Heinlein, which of course means it's an excellent audiobook, I'm sure. It's an excellent science, science fiction novel. And it's ten and a half hours approximately with eight CDs. First published 1964. And that's all I've got from Blackstone today, but I do have more. I've got a stack of Stainless Steel Rat. The Stainless Steel Rat series is uh, one I'm really enjoying, but I try and mix it in with um, other books because they're, they are like candy. They are really enjoyable, but not very uh, <laughs> intellectual. So um, this is The Stainless Steel Rat Gets Drafted, and it's book seven in the series, performed by Phil Giganti, who is wonderful. These are all from Brilliance. Eight hours, 25 minutes. And originally published, looks like, 87. Now, the art on these is actually not all that exciting, but it's consistent, which is actually a point in its favor, I would say. Uh, that's book seven, and this one is book five. I don't know where book six is. Maybe it's in the stack here. It's the Stainless Steel Rat for President. These are all approximately the same length. They're all about uh, six CDs, five CDs. I think the first one is four CDs which uh, I think is wonderful. I love short audiobooks. Um, 
first published 82. What else we got here? We've got the stainless steel rat sings the blues. And it's six CDs. Book eight. Okay, we've got book eight. Stainless steel rat goes to hell. I think this might be book ten. Let's see. Oh, book nine. Okay. And that's seven hours, thirty minutes. Seven CDs. The Stainless Steel Rat Joins the Circus. Now this might be the most recent one, so this might be book 10. Book 10, there it is. Sounds good. So you get kind of a funny series because uh, he starts off as a single man, and uh, I think by the end of the first book he's basically wed. And so the rest of the series he's, he's like a con man slash thief who has a family and takes his uh, family with him. Just put them all together here. So you can see them all together. I've got previous ones in the series, and perhaps I will make a nice stack and uh, do that as a together stack at some point. And last but not least, Count Zero. Now, Jenny tells me this is a, an excellent book, and I think the first time I read it, shortly after I read Euromancer, I, I didn't get into it. So I'm kind of um, not sure that I'll love it, but I think it's got great cover art. Uh, I believe this might have been released as an Audible Frontiers book first, but it's from Brilliance again as well, read by Jonathan Davis, who is a fabulous narrator. Um, I think Luke Burridge of the Science Fiction Book Review podcast thinks he's the greatest narrator. He is very, very good. the Sprawl Trilogy, book two. I guess Neuromancer is the first of that, but I don't think it has any of the same characters. Ten CDs. Eleven hours, twenty-four minutes. And that's my stack. <laughs>